All right, ladies and germs, I figured I would give you a quick little video on how I personally uh, make a vinyl dash for my muscle cars. Um, there are other ways to do this. This is just one that I find works pretty good and fairly quick, easy, and cheap. Um, if you got something that works better for, the, for you, then by all means, go for that route. But this is kind of what I do. Uh, you're gonna need a few things for this. So let's see here, let's move this little guy out of the way. One thing you're gonna need is a dash. You will find that that is a regulation dash. This is a, uh, out of my uh, 70 Buick GSX model kit uh, that I did an unboxing for. Um, you can use whatever dash obviously you have or need. Put that aside. Uh, next thing you're gonna need is some tape. Uh, various types of tape. Um, I, I personally use uh, masking tape uh, for this, uh, or excuse me, masking tape for, works really well for this. There's various types. Uh, this is painter's tape, which has a little bit finer texture. Uh, this is masking tape, standard masking tape, which has, if you can see that, it's going to be very hard to focus in, but we'll try. Um, see the, the grain in this. This is actually better for vinyl roofs. Um, that grain's a little larger than I want for my dash. It will work, and I've used it plenty of times, but I'm going to go with the painter's tape, or the, uh, yeah, painter's masking tape today. Actually, you know what? No, scratch that. We're going to go for this, because if I remember correctly, my Buick uh, dash was uh, pretty, um, pretty textured. So we're going to go with that today. <clears throat> Next thing you'll need is some paint. Whatever color you need. Uh, today, I am going with Rubber Black by Tamiya. This is the XF85. Um, I like the color this gives me. You could use a flat black. You could also use a flat blue. Um, or you could paint it blue, put a flat clear on top of it, or whatever color uh, your car requires. Uh, during the late 70s, um, they used a lot of ugly colors from olive to brown to drab green to goofy ass colors like that um, even some maroons but anyways uh, this is very typical of what these dashes look like from uh, the uh, late 60s up to the um, you know 80s uh, you're gonna need a brush for applying paint optional is a little bit of a sponge um, after this video after the first part of the video I'm gonna do show you how to make a uh, cracked dash, which was uh, really, really prevalent uh, for those dashes over the years. You're also going to need some water for your paint. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is wrap the dash with tape. So the easiest way I found to do this is take out the tape I need, put it down. Let's see here. Put it on like so. Flip it over, smooth it out across the top with my thumbs. Get in the creases as best you can, and then start to barely fold it over the front. That's step one. Okay. Now, what we want to do is kind of tap it down, make sure there's no um, wrinkles in it, no creases, things like that. We're not going to fully apply it down yet. Oh, you're also going to need an X-Acto knife with a, a new blade, by the way. And let me get the damn cat out of here. She's brought me her ball. Go, go. See you, asshole. Okay, we're back. Uh, now, we're going to start to form around the, the instrument cluster. I take, and usually, uh, depending on the type of model or the type of uh, dash, cut it as necessary. That's something you're going to have to figure out on your own. I fold it under <clears throat> and tuck it in with my fingernail. You could also use something like a toothpick to really get in that crack and then bring it over. This one has vinyl on the front there where the, um, where the uh, glove box is. Now 
we're going to make an indentation where our speakers and uh, various parts are. You see that little indentation there? We're going to kind of just push it in there. There should be one right here too. Now I am going to quickly do this because uh, I'm going to redo it when I actually build this kit. Uh, put a little more detail into it, but you take your time. Cut out your speaker grills, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm just going to do a quick cut here, here, so you get the idea. Oops, make sure you go all the way through. By the way, I paused the movie Sliver with Sharon Stone to do this for you, and it was right at the point where she's in the bathtub naked and uh, well, having a little fun. So you guys should be very lucky that I'm here right now. All right, we've got one cut out, cut out the second. Again, I'm just doing this quickly for so the video is not too long. And I've got a list of honeydews that I need to get done. But I really wanted to knock this video out because it was something that I was thinking about. There you go. Okay. Let's put that tape over the side there. Now we want to cut out at the top of the instrument cluster at the bottom of the dash and remove that excess just like that. Where's my tweezers? Oh. Bear with me. There we go. All right. Slowly pull that away. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, now again, you take your time, you know, fold in nice and neat and cut around where you need to. Uh, but for the sake of time, I am just going to cut it away like that. And if I've been good, there we go. There's one side done. Now I'm going to follow this dash around, cut off the excess here. And yes, I know that I'm cutting this in a way that is unsafe, but you know what? OSHA is not around. Okay, fold it in. And again, this right here that goes underneath the window to be glued in, normally I would cut that out so that my glue will go on. But for right now, I'm leaving it in place. Uh, let's see if we can't find the glove box area, or it's not really a glove box. It's what would now be a... Um, airbag but back then we did not have such things and if you can see there with my thumbnail i made that crease and again you could do it in greater detail and get finer in there with a toothpick now we're going to slice that out if my terrible eyes will help there you go Okay, and cut and trim all the pieces that you need to. Again, I'm doing this for the sake of time. So there you go. Now you've got your padded dash or your the pad for your vinyl. Now, depending on the year, you could make the, you know, uh, the type of car. A lot of these dashes were very, very padded. You could take double layers of your um, tape and make it thicker if you want. I am just going to do a single. I think that scales really well for this type of car and type of application. And again, you could come through and cut out, you know, everything you need to cut out. That is for my um, uh, air conditioner vent. There we go. All right. So now you got your dash wrapped. Yay. All right. Now it's time to paint. So the trick I have found with this is I'm going to pour a little bit of paint in there, not waste too much for demonstration purposes. Um, you don't want to paint on thick because then it hides all the little texture and detail that you just uh, put on here. So what I do, is let me get a uh, paper towel somewhere. And apparently my cat is an asshole trying to get under the door. All right, so I take just a dab of water 
mix it in with some paint. So it's a little thinner. Some of you may see where I'm going with this. It's almost like I'm trying to stain this. So then I dab it out and we're ready to paint. Take a little bit of excess off the brush. So I'm going to start painting on. And again, take your time. I'm rushing. Uh, normally I would not paint in there where the vents are, although I could come back on later with a um, flat black or something like that, trim it out and chrome, whatever I wanted to do. The main thing is nice and smooth. You don't want a lot at a time. It may take you a couple of coats. And again, come back in here, being very careful not to get on the dash. But like I said, this is just a demonstration, not my final product. And don't dip your hand in the dash like I just did, because I'm an idiot. Come back through underneath, brush it in. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. Oh, you see where I stuck my finger in it right there? Because I'm an idiot. Okay. Now, like I said, this may take a couple of goes. You may have to come back, put a little bit more on. But the main thing is long strokes. Get them all the way across so you don't have uneven strokes in the middle. So, we're going to let that dry. I'm going to try to speed this up, which probably won't work for the video, but whatever. Start to see where we're going with this. I'll try to focus in as best as possible, but boy, that is tough to do. You see the texture starting to come through? Now again, go back over. Once she's nice and dried up, which shouldn't take long with this type of paint, this rubber black by Tamiya dries very quickly. Well, I guess it probably did that too soon, but you get the idea. So let's just keep working it in. Actually, I'm going to pause this video and then uh, come back when this is dry. Then we're going to brush on the next coat. Usually doesn't take more than two coats. There you go. Now, let's take care of that front again. Again, I am not being careful. You should get the bottom side again. Main thing with the, uh, <clears throat> you don't want to see brush strokes. It really takes away from that, so that's why you thin it out, you run full length brush, and if you have to, dry your brush up a little bit and pull a little off if you need to. But there you see it wet, that's what she looks like. Okay, you see the detail in that? Now we let it dry up real good, and I'll show you what the final product will look like. Okay, we're back. You see that gives you a very nice look. I'm trying to zoom in here or uh, focus. Not cooperating. There we go. Again, a little rougher than a lot of cars, which um, in retrospect, I probably should, should have used the blue paint or blue tape, which I will do on the weather dash. But that's how you get that, um, how you get that um, vinyl look. Um, again, this works great on, uh, things like, um, oh, interior pieces, like say seats for that, ex for example, make a great texture for a seat, um, armrests, uh, whatever it might be. So now without further ado, we're going to move on to how to do a cracked or weathered dash. So for this example, to, in the sake of time, I went ahead and notched in a little um, notched in uh, right here. Uh, again, just take your exacto knife, make a crack however you want. Um, you know, just make it an uneven or jagged or whatever. Just a little slice will do you. Um, make it however you want. I just did a quick one on this old dash I had laying around. Um, this dash is actually out of an Avante, which I don't believe uh, had vinyl on it. Whatever. You could run them down here, little cracks, big cracks, whatever. Um, 
going all the way through get, will give you kind of a neat little um, effect that I'll show you here in a minute, but you don't have to. But for me, I like that. But if you just, you know, carve in a little crack wherever you want it, uh, you'll get the, the effect that you're looking for. So we're going to take some tape. This time I'm going to use the blue tape. Oops. I just don't make tape as well as I used to, but whatever. Whatevs. All right, I'm just going to quickly throw that on like so. And we're going to trim out again. Again, I am just doing this quickly just for time purposes. Move that under. And let's cut it down like that. Like that. Fold it under. Okay. So same process. We're going to paint. Yeah, my paint's dry out. I think I may have got that too watery, but we'll see. Too diluted, I should say. I should use proper uh, terms. You guys probably want that. All right, move that dash out of the way. Okay. So we're going to brush, brush, brush. Again, yeah, a little too watery, but that'll work. You'll get the idea. Okay. Again, I got this a little too wet, so we're going to drag it off and we're going to do more than one coat. Okay, and we'll let that dry. Again, we're not, it's, we're painting, yes, but it's more like we're kind of staining it, you know, rather than uh, painting it. But let me dry, let this dry up. Okay, we're back. That's the first coat, and that's pretty good, actually. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go with that. I like that color. I like that. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the blue in there. We'll give it one quick little wipe down. Probably jack it up in the meantime, but whatever. Okay. Let that dry. Be right back. Okay. After it's dry, you get that nice look you're looking for. Oops. See how that has a nice, uh, we, a nice uh, vinyl look to it? Where your crack was. If you take a very sharp X-Acto knife and just gently slice through like so. And then flip it back. You may have to come through. And yeah. Like so gives you the beginnings of a cracked dash. Now, I know what you're saying. doesn't look that realistic. You're, and you're right. But, if you notice, when you cut through from the bottom, like so, it pushes the tape you know, slightly up if you got a really sharp uh, knife. And that is the way those things cracked. They would split and then fold up. So... That's why you want to cut it from the bottom if possible. Now, at this point, come through with more black and paint from the underside just to make sure you're not getting any of the blue tape showing through or whatever color tape you're using, like so. Okay, and then don't worry. If you see a little bit by the time it's in the, um, in the model car, you're not going to notice. And next, optional. So a lot of these dashes had yellow foam underneath the pad. Take your little piece of foam. I don't know where I got that yellow foam, but it comes with all kinds of crap. And put it underneath. And if the, it's going to be hard to see with this camera, but it gives you that yellow foam underneath. Again, if you don't have yellow, get whatever color you do have, paint it, whatever you whatever you need to do, glue it in place, and it'll give you that nice ripped dash. Uh, you could also take, <clears throat> excuse me, some paint and go with, say, a tan, maybe put a little uh, dark yellow in it or something like that, mix it in there. Paint from the bottom, dab it in there, 
and it will it will go all the way through and show through. Uh, just be careful not to get it on the outside. But that is the way that I make um, vinyl dashes. Quick and easy. There's nothing to it. So easy a child could do it, as they say. Um, but hope it helps. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good shit. And uh, I'm going to get back to seeing uh, Sharon Stone. And you guys have a great evening.